Kutupalung makeshift camp has more than 30,000 unregistered refugees from Myanmar. This camp is divided into 14 blocks. There are around 7,000 under 5-year-old children living in these camps. These children are living with little or no basic facilities including food, water and access to basic healthcare package which is making them vulnerable and prone to undernutrition. With support from ECHO, ACF in 2009 started its humanitarian life-saving interventions for these unregistered refugees in makeshift camp focusing on pregnant and lactating women and under five-year-old children. ACF is running its activities in an integrated approach including nutrition, mental health and care practices and water, sanitation and hygiene. ACF provides life-saving treatment to the severely acute malnourished children through therapeutic feeding. Every morning, ACF nutrition volunteers visit households to check nutrition status of children living in this camp. Volunteers provide health and nutrition related suggestion and assistance to caretaker of this area. Women and children here do not get to eat nutritious food due to several factors. During pregnancy and after delivery, women here do not get enough to eat nor do they get enough rest. Their children also do not get to drink enough milk and caretakers do not pay enough attention on giving proper feed to these children. On the other hand, because of short birth interval and lack of child care, many children are undernourished. After receiving training from ACF, volunteers learn to screen these vulnerable children and identify the cases which need immediate attention. Mowak tape is used and edema is checked for identification. Volunteers also follow up defaulted cases and children who do not recover well from undernutrition. When volunteers find malnourished children, they refer them to nutrition center where nurses and center-based volunteers check physical condition of the children and measure their weight and edema, their height in the center volunteer kitchen team prepares therapeutic food, halwa, for treatment of severely malnourished children which helps them to recover. Volunteers provide halwa to feed the child and mother feed children this nutritious halwa in the clinic. Volunteers also demonstrate cooking process to mothers so that mothers can prepare nutritious food and halwa at home. Together with halwa cooking demonstration, volunteers also provide dry ration to mothers to prepare during weekend and high-energy nutritious biscuits for pregnant, lactating mothers and children. Mm -hmm. 
They provide education in a very simplified way to mothers and caretakers on health and nutrition. They advise them to include nutrition-rich foods in their daily meal and provide guidance on foods which are healthy for them and their children. পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্নতা এবং পরিচর্যার অভাবে যে সব অপুষ্টিতে আক্রান্ত শিশুদের নিয়মিত ওজন বৃদ্ধি হচ্ছে না বা বাহিত হচ্ছে অথবা যাদের ঘন ঘন বিভিন্ন রকমের অসুখ হয় তাদেরকে মানসিক স্বাস্থ্য এবং পরিচর্যার জন্য মেন্টাল হেলথ এন্ড কেয়ার প্র্যাকটিসে কাউন্সেলিং এর জন্য রেফার করা হয় The volunteers also use male forum to educate and sensitize male member of the family on nutrition and health This male forum consists of husbands of pregnant and lactating women and father of undernourished child. Ana Muhammad Jamil ai kutwala talat ewano tagide arar thagar nirahod nai khana nirahod nai shikha nirahod nai latin 10 gol 50 gol mili ara kanna pai polotinor byabostha nai arar জরিনা বেগম লিভিং ইন ব্লক বি টু মান্থস এ গার্ল ব্রট হার চাইল্ড টু এম অফ সেন্টার এট দ্য টাইম হার চাইল্ড ওয়াজ সিভিয়ারলি মাল নরিশড The volunteer did proper checkup of the child. Volunteers provided halwa to feed the child, dry ration to prepare at home during weekends and holiday, and high energy biscuits to supplement the mother and the child. Jorina followed all the advices and fed her child regularly. Now her child is healthy. She smiles and she plays.